Okay, hello, and welcome back to Daniela and Min's Adventures in the PBG Play Along League Season 3 Challenge Mode, which means we'll be shuffling this year Ghoul Priest into each and every encounter deck. And we have reached for the greater good, so we've really smashed uh, Wages of Sin getting all four heretics, meaning that none were uh, released under Arkham. I just didn't note it down. And today we're uh, going into the Silver Twilight Lodge to see how we fare about into the greater good. Um, we are obviously members of the Lodge, so we're going to do this setup. I'm going to kill the other one. Shuffle the Ghoul Priest into our encounter deck. So when we defeat a twil Silver Twilight enemy, he leaves evidence behind. And uh, we need six clues to advance, so we're welcome. We're coming in through the front. Uh, we start here at the Lodge Gates, and... <clears throat> and we can shuffle the encounter deck. And I'll go over real quick over the upgrades we've done. So for Daniela's deck, we've gone for an interesting tech. We've uh, swapped out the right whistle, which I said it's probably worth cutting. And I put in a dig deep level four. I don't know how good this will be, but there are a lot of brain tests and some feet tests. So, and this doesn't include committing, so we can uh, circumvent some of those. You need to trigger the, trigger the haunted event on your uh, location. And if not, it's just a cute uh, upgrade. Right Whistle wasn't doing much for us. The other upgrade we went to is uh, we ended up cutting the Guard Dog and going for a Will to Survive level 3. Now this is future tech. I will eventually uh, get a second Peter to fill up that ally slot. But uh, for now, I'm going to take Will, for, Will to Survive as hoping to use this in the next one. And Union the Solution to just smash some circle tests without drawing tokens. So that's Daniela. And that was 8 experience. And that was seven experience, and the last one was obviously uh, we took the. Uh, that was seven experience, and that's all all we had actually. We we got six, and we banked one. With the min, we got six experience, but we actually only ended up spending four. I'm not quite sure what I want to take further on from here. I uh, kicked out the deep knowledge and took an unrelenting because it works well with practice league for a sec. I was contemplating to kick a plan of action for a second unrelenting, but for now I'm uncertain because these really help me with getting rid of King of Yellow, King and Yellow, when they can get the double icon. So for now I'm not kicking out uh, a plan of action, but we'll see in the future. Um, the other upgrade I did was upgrade the other Scroll of Secrets. It's about time to get the other Scroll of Secrets upgraded. Uh, eventually, I might want to do some swaps and rounding to get maybe upgrade deductions or maybe go into Pathfinders. I don't know, and for now, uh, it's going to have to wait because we only have two experience left over banked. Okay, so these are the upgrades we made. So it's pretty simple upgrades, nothing too uh, flashy. Four keys, we start with our here, and we can draw our opening hands. So, oh, this is an interesting hand, and Min's hand is... Okay, this gets replaced. Honestly, this is a pretty good hand. I think we're going to kick these two, hopefully getting something good. Uh, here, we're going to keep the economy. We're going to keep the weapon. We'll keep one unrelenting, and we'll kick these two. Looking for a good off weapon. Okay, we got Hallowed Mirror. So uh, we ended up kicking out one uh, healing card for the ultimate healing card for us. So I guess that's fine. Let's start with Daniela. So what, let's see what we have here. We have three skulls, which are minus X, which is the highest number of doom. We have two uh, cultists, which is minus two and reveal another token. That's going to be brutal, destroy all our math. And we have two other things, which are minus threes. If we fail, we move a doom from cultist to nearest agenda. We started the large gates. There's nothing here. We can resign. And to get into the lobby, we have to parlay and just open the door. So let's start by playing eight stand together. Second act, second and third action, we're going to run out these two here. That's one, two, three, four. And shuffle these in. Okay, I, could, I would say that we're pretty set up here. Min, on the other hand, we're going to uh, take two actions to play out our two hand items. So this is three resources. We'll use the Scroll of Secrets to see what's coming up. Okay, all of these are really good gas, but I'm going to draw this and keep uh, this and then this. Because last action, I can now play out the empirical hypothesis. Okay, any phase, there's nothing there, and we'll do upkeep. 
Okay, uh, start of the round, I should choose something. I don't remember the shroud here. I think here it's two, but here I think I think both of these are two, actually. I'll go for the succeed by three. Okay. Centuries of Secrets, that's fine. I can fail this pretty easily. I'll just take one uh, one horror, although I can commit this because I don't think I'm going to get rid of my Howl Mirror, although the Ghoul Priest could come out. Um, you know what? Let's draw some cards. We'll commit unrelenting. We'll go five all. That's a minus zero, so we succeed. And we get Earth of Therendity, which is our utter biggest uh, healing card. Okay, Knight of the Outer Void. Any revealed, any location connected to yours, so it doesn't have to be a revealed one. Oh, sorry. And he's a peril, aloof peril, and retaliate. We get to put as many doom as we want on him, and we can parlay it off. The point is that we can take those doom and make them clues. So um, I don't want to go too risky. I'm just going to put one doom on it. Okay, and we're still in the succeed by three train. So uh, let's start with Daniela. We're going to open the door. Okay, it's a three shroud location, so I could have uh, chosen to succeed by three. Second action will walk down. And he would attack me. I don't think I want to do that. Aloof pair of retaliate. Um, last action. Let's just go into the next location. Okay, we put uh, August and the library and the vault. So August here with a random key, if I'm not mistaken. There's your key. Okay, that's pretty good. And we get the library and the vault. And they're both connected to here. Okay, that's Nidale's turn. Min, on the other hand, at the beginning of her turn, she gets the essence of the dream. First action, we're going to move here. Second action, we're going to try this parlay. We're at a four all. Uh, we'll go five, six, seven, eight to four. If we succeed, we draw a card. That's a minus three. We succeed by one. That's absolutely fine. This draws us a card, which we knew of was the Eureka, and this becomes our clue, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Uh, between actions, I'm going to scroll up secrets and see what we get. Okay, we're still not hitting. Oh, I want it to PMP. Never mind. Um, I'm going to draw the shortcut. And actually, I could keep these on top, right? Unrelenting and plan of action. They're all really good hits. Last action, not this. We're going to play out the Eon chart. And we're going to move here and investigate. Committing a practice makes perfect. Using practice makes perfect. Okay, we hit, um, honestly, let's just take Perception. Okay, so we're at 7 to 2. That's up by 5. That's a minus 3, so that's a 4 to 2. We succeed by 2, which is not 3 for this, but we'll draw two cards off of it and gain a clue. Okay, does he hunt? No, he's just there. Okay, and if he's nothing, and we do upkeep Okay, some interesting things here. Two of eight. We get Mysterious Chanting. Okay, that's two more Doom on this guy. We need to go parlay that off. You get. If there are no cultists in play, otherwise he moves it. He moves one location at a time. It reaches, engages us, and makes an immediate attack. So this guy comes and hits us for a damage and a horror. Okay, and that would have been succeed by three again, because I don't have anything better to do. Okay, let's start with Min. Let's pick this up. Um, actually, I'm going to want to do this test. So I'm going to first action parlay. So I'm at a four all. Let's go five, six, seven, eight, nine to four. Not by five. That's a minus two. So I succeed by three, which triggers the hypothesis. I get 
this clue and I get this clue. And I draw two cards and search the top three short cards. So let and these are both if. So I'm going to draw two first. And then I'm going to search the top three. Okay. Um, let's take this archive of conduits, although we can't play it yet. Second action, we'll parlay this again. So we're at four all, five, six, seven. Humanoid called this, so we'll try that. This is another three, so I get plus six, so I'm 10 to four. 10 my eight to four. So the, I got a minus five in total, so I'm five to four, I succeed by one. I still get this, I only draw one card. Damn it, king in yellow. I should have used the scroll of secrets first, but I totally forgot. Um, now I need to commit enough icons to evade. So let's evade, last action. We'll commit this for four, five, six. So actually we'll do an evade stigate. So, um, so this is six icons I'm up. So uh, I'm eight to four up by four. Good. This guy's evaded. All of these in King and Yellow are gone. Last and I, so I didn't use an action and I'll also uh, investigate. I'll practice makes perfect. And we'll hit uh, unrelenting. Let's seal some good tokens. We're at five to four and we'll add an icon onto it to be six to four. It's a minus zero and I also draw two cards. It's absolutely fine. This goes back to my hand and I get this clue. Since this isn't a victory location, I don't really care, so I'm going to do the parlay. Each of us, the gear has spent at least one clue, must take one damage or one whore. So let's, we'll spend four clues to remove this guy from the game, taking the cultist key, and I'll take a horror. He's gone. Bye. Okay. Daniela. Yes, the guy has three health. Um, <clears throat> aloof power retaliate. Let's get this guy killed. I'm going to have him attack me. We'll engage him for the first action, smack him with a vicious blow for our second action. So we're at five, six, seven, eight. Let's go nine to three. He's dead. And last action, I'm going to play out this Earthly Serenity so we can massive heal. Let's do upkeep. That's what we wanted, the fire extinguisher. Three of eight. Encounter card is another one of these. Any location connected to you, aloof peril, we're going to put one doom on him. And we're going to put him here because we can't enter here yet. And we get the same thing. This guy comes to us, engages us, attacks us, and steals our keys. It's a bit frustrating, I must say. Um, but that's fine, because we're going to hope to get a massive heal from Earthly Therenity. It's Earthly Therenity. And we might just pitch this Archive of Conduits for a parlay. So let's go first. I'm going to go for all. And she's Min's going to commit this and slap on an icon, so she's up by four. And that's a minus one. That's absolutely fine. We get this clue. This goes away. Um, second action, one, two, we'll play out this fire extinguisher. We'll have this guy attack us for one and one, and he'll take a damage back, which I forgot to do. That means I wasted a vicious blow, and last action will go seven to three by four. So minus zero, this guy's dead, and the key goes to Daniela. Okay, massive heal is going to be next turn. This, is, this should have been Shroud. I should have known because there's a high Shroud in the library, and I know that. Um, so let's uh, pick up this Essence of the Dream, wherever it is. I think I discarded it by mistake. Yep. So let's first action, Investigate. So we're going to move. 
Yep, that's a high shroud. And investigate, so we're at a four to six. And we're just gonna fail and retry. Okay, we live and learn. Now we're to six all. Seven. Eight, nine to six, up by three, draw two cards. Nope, I fail. That's really bad. Why, oh, I already slapped an icon on, onto something. So I'll take two actions to gain resources, and last action I'll play on Electrical Mind, starting to try and get my draw engine going. And we'll do upkeep. Okay, four of eight, and counter card is Asian Evils. That's five of eight now. And six of eight. That was something. We'll have Daniela walk in for a first action. Second action, we're going to Earthly Serenity, testing it. 4 to 0. Let's go 5 and add an icon onto it. So it's 6 to 0 now. Um, on, on scenario card, 6 to 0. Minus 2. Auto fail. Last action, we'll go 5. We'll commit this for her, so she'll be 5 to 0. We only succeed by 1, which is a big shame. And we'll heal 1 uh, horror off of Min. Horror? No, we'll heal Horror off of Daniela. We'll search. Oh, no, I don't search the top three. Sorry. It's a performing investigator. I know this. Let's take this resourceful. Okay, we do not have the tablet key. That's a big shame. So, first action, gain a resource. Second action, we'll play out Madame LeBranche. We also pick this up. Last action will investigate versus a six. Um, this would have been succeed by three, I guess, because I know it wasn't moving. So we're going to go four to six, five, six, all, slap on an icon, seven to six, and we'll drop an analytical mind. We'll be up by one. That's a minus three. We failed. There's no doom to move. And hopefully next turn we can do something. Let's do upkeep. Seven of eight. Encounter card is. Whoever has that takes a horror. Okay, that surges in two. Nope, no, not in play. And the lock door. Okay, something for Daniela to do. Takes another horror. And reveal location with clues. That's going to be here. So actually, this is going to prove out to be very good for Min. Uh, Min, obviously, again, would have done succeed by three. So um, first action, we will try breaking down this door. We're at a five to four. We'll go six, seven, and she'll commit a true understanding. We'll be eight to four. She'll add an icon to be nine to four. It's a minus three. Absolutely fine. This is gone, and Min gets a clue. Second action, we need to really start healing. We'll go for the softer healing option first. Take two, heal to horror. Oh, fantastic, we're gonna play Peter. Okay, it's fine that we're going relatively slow. We drew two out of the three Asian evils. This is gonna discard and get us some enemies, probably. And we already have uh, four out of the six clues we need. So this jumps to hand. We only need to get one clue here, so we can probably a bit overcommit to it. Um, let's start actually by playing a new Eon chart. Okay. Um, let's draw, let's draw some cards. I'm going to draw another one. Oh, this could be huge money for us. Second action. Okay, Madame LaRoche gives us a resource. We will, I, I mean, I want to commit the plan of action so it gives us double book. So we will draw a card. And last action, we'll investigate with these two committed. So these give plus four, so we're at eight to six, nine to six. Um, do we have a spare book icon somewhere? Is there anything to return? There's a cherished keepsake here. I would have loved to keep it for lucky, but you know what, let's commit it. Let's go 10 to six, up by four. Yes, All right, plus four, five, six, yeah. Three, four, five. 
Ah, I slapped on an icon, that's why. Okay. Good. And he gets to return the... We'll take, actually, the baseball bat. So we can commit it. Okay, and let's crack the case. Um, Daniela needs some and I need some. So let's go one, two, three here. And one, two, three here. Now let's do upkeep. Stubborn detective. Okay, we advance. Uh, we discard the top five cards and everybody has to draw a cultist. One, two, three, four, five. So there's only this guy. That's absolutely fine. And this guy, we just need to get his doom off. We'll put him here with his doom. Okay, and uh, 10 doom advances and we really need to start getting, get moving. Counter card is call to order. Top two cultists in the discard pile. That's a shame. I think it's two knights. Yeah, it is two knights. This is starting to get tricky really fast. And he spawned them in the empty location with the most remaining clues. So that has to be here. And they each get one doom because that's what I'm going to choose. Is that a revelation effect? One second. And spawn them. We spawn them. They get no doom. And we get, um, if we control a key, we do not. We are testing book four. This is a scheme. We're at four all. Oh, we don't, we actually don't have a key. So we're at four to three. We'll, we'll just tank it. Four to three, zero, we pass. Okay, let's start with Daniela. We're going to attack at six to two, six to three. Let's go seven to three, up by four. Auto fail. Oish. Second action, six to three again. That was brutal. Well, last action. I didn't want to go here and test it and also get rid of the locked door, maybe. Um, we'll have to go the long way here to find stuff. Do I just try healing us massively? We could do that. Or I could heal Min. Could go five to zero and try. Five to zero. It's minus two. Minus three total, so we succeed by two, which is basically what a regular one here and one here. What a regular Earthly Serenity would have done for us. That's a bit of a shame. So let's go with Min. We'll pick up the Essence of the Dream. First action, we'll walk up. I want to get rid of this Doom, so second action, we'll uh, do the parlay thing. We'll get plus two, plus three, so we'll be up by... So we're at seven to two. And this is still in six, well, succeed by three, I guess. Well, it's too late. It is on succeed by three. So I'm at seven to two minus three total. So that was four to two. I don't succeed by three, but I get this clue. No, this just discards, sorry. And last action, we're gonna start walking up and we're gonna try going to the left-hand side. Okay, we got rid of some of the doom. Um, we'll do upkeep. One of ten. Encounter card. Another large neophyte. Is there an empty location? Yes, there is. Here's your doom. You get ancient evils. Okay, we're at three of ten already. That's not too good. Uh, Min would have done actually shroud this time, because I think this is a high shroud. Um, let's go with Daniela. What does he deal? A horror. First action, move. I'm going to have him come at me, dealing me a horror, which will go on Pete. Dead. Uh, what is this? After, when you defeat, you leave man. Move one doom from each enemy at that location. Absolutely fine. Second action, we're going to come here. And last action, we're going to go here. Boop. And this gets a key. Skull key. Absolutely fine. Min. Pick this up. We're going to Eon chart. We're going to move and investigate. So we're moving. We successfully entered a shroud three and we're investigating. So we're at four to three. Let's go five, six to three up by three. It's minus two. That's absolutely fine. I'll get these two clues. And we won't pick up the key yet. Oh, we also drop a analytical mind. Okay, that's a huge draw. 
because we already drew our weaknesses, so I don't think we need Scroll of Secrets, although we can wait to loop our deck and use the three scrolls, and then it's also an option. We cannot enter, oh, we unless we have any key, okay. Second action, let's walk in. No, let's, let's try getting rid of this Doom. Six to two, so minus one, Doom's gone. Next turn. Oh, Pete should have killed at the end of her turn. Second action. We will walk in. Okay, we put in uh, the three sanctum locations. One. Where are they? Oh, boy. Okay, uh, there's the inner sanctum and two other sanctums. So, sanctum and sanctum and sanctum. We should advance, by the way. So, uh, one from Daniela and five from Min. Okay, we advance. Yada, yada, yada. If the library is not in play, put it into play. Oh, he goes into library now? Oh, I forgot he doesn't go here when we're uh, friends of the lodge. Okay, he's master of initiation. That's this side. And he has a parlay three, and we need to play. Then if there are two player resources, we can either parlay him twice or just kick the shit out of him with Daniela. Which is probably what we'll do. Um, Min's last action. Let's let's do the Scroll of Secret plan, I think. But I want to investigate and get all these clues so I can run here with Min. Two, three. We're just going to run out the black book. It's better in the long term. Okay, are there any hunters? These don't hunt. This will die next turn. He doesn't hunt, so we do upkeep. Okay, Milan is interesting. We might end up playing him. We're at three of ten doom. Evil pass, that's absolutely fine. And a keeper of secrets. Any empty location. Now, uh, do we still do they still lose aloof? Yeah. Each Silver Twilight in a Sanctum location loses aloof. There aren't many empty locations, and this guy is going to keep accumulating doom if we don't take care of him. So let's put him here, which will allow Daniela to come and reveal it. Anyways, that's end of Mythos. Okay, we're going to have uh, him attack us, which kills him with his damage. We'll take... Uh, well, we're waiting with this. We'll take two actions to come here. And this gets a random key. Okay, that will let us go... No, that would have reduced the shroud here. It doesn't let us go into here yet. So that was two actions. Final action, we will use Soothing Melody to heal ourselves and draw a card. Okay, and Peter heals on end of turn. We're going to try killing him next turn. Uh, this is obviously the Ender High Shroud. Um, we're going to move Investigate into here. That was a good call. Okay, uh, pitching this deduction. This was a three shroud, so we got this. So we're at six to three, and let's snap on an icon to be seven to three and draw a card from Analytical Mind. So minus two. And another minus three. Did I fail? I failed. And that means that this doom goes on the agenda. Wow. Okay, let's start looping our deck. We'll draw a card. Putting a horror on grandma. We'll draw another card. And we're trying to hit deductions. I also picked this up, by the way. <sighs> Three shroud. I should have been able to do this. Let's try drawing again. We'll go six to three. Zero, zero, plus one. Um, six to three. We need stuff to pitch. Go seven to three, be up by four. That draws two cards. And the stubborn detective, of course. Another minus five. 
Okay, uh, this is where siding with the lodge is really fucking us. We'll evade this guy and we'll get plus four, so we're at a 62. Minus three, that's fine. We might have to give up this uh, VP location, because last action we're going to move out. We're going to come into here to do it next turn. Sky readies, and we do upkeep. Of course we do. Five of ten. Encounter card is the Ghoul Priest. Yours is Styrus Chanting. This is the only cultist. Oh, he loses aloof. Um, that changes things. I would have done Soothing Melody before I moved in, but he would have attacked me in, in enemy phase. So I would have taken Horror here, Damage here, and Delta Damage back. And now he gets three Doom. We need to remove all the Doom from him. So let's start with Min. Pick this up. We will move Investigate into here. First action, move. We move and Investigate. So we're at a five to four. Let's go six, seven, eight. Eight to four, draw a card. So minus three, we succeed by one. We draw one card. We get king in yellow. Um, which I should have known was coming. We're going to kick black book, unfortunately. First real action, we're going to test off this keeper of secrets. So, um... He's a humanoid, so this would be three icons. This will be two more icons. That's five, and we'll do six. Oh, we can't commit two cards, so we'll do six with this Kraken case. So we're we're ten to three up by seven. That's a minus three. It's absolutely fine, and this goes away. Second action, one, two, three, four. We're going to pitch Granny Orn, unfortunately, to become a Dr. Milan. We need the, uh, yeah, we need that icon. Um, before our last action, we're going to draw a card. Archive of Conduits. Well, that does pretty much nothing for us. Last action, we'll investigate committing this, so that's a seven, eight to four. Minus three, we succeed by one. We'll take this clue, gain a resource, and hopefully we can start helping next turn. We need to get rid of all of this trouble. So, first action, we're going to um, we're going to toe to toe this guy. These are direct, but it's going to kill him because that's three damage. I'm going to... Why are all of these so high? Five to four. We're going to have this guy, I think. No, because it's not going to help... So we want him to attack us so we can exhaust him. So we have to punch this guy. It's six to four, seven, eight to four, up by four, to be up by five. It's a minus three, he's finally dead. We'll have this guy attack us for two and two. Exhaust him. And then we'll punch him at a seven, eight to four, So minus three, it's absolutely fine. He takes three damage. And you phase this guy hunts up. We'll do upkeep. This guy is here. Six of ten, and counter card is another Lodge Neo fight. We have to put him here, I think. No, he can go up here as well. With his doom, you get and you get Oh, come on! Really? This scenario is just screwing with us. It, it's really... It's... 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 It's really... It's really bad. 
like we we could have won this but then the scenario started pissing on us we're drawing way too many cultists um peter should have healed at the end of our turn like i could kill the ghoul priest but what am i doing about these guys I think Min's going to have to evade him and have Daniela go save the day. How? We have this fucking detective in our way. We have three Doom on the board, and if we don't clear at least one of it, we're dead. How does the situation get out of hand so easily? Um. So let's say Min picks up this key. It's a lightning bolt. Too many minus twos into minus threes, I must say. Problem is this bloody detective. Do I have the money? You know what? Min's going to try doing something. We're going to walk over here. That triggers this. We're going to... I've got to plant this guy. Attacking at a five to three and get a plus four. Yep, this guy's dead. Neon chart is empty? Then what's the point? Oh, I can shortcut into here. Then I'm going to talk to this guy at 4 to 2, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 to 2, drawing a card. That's a minus 3. That's absolutely fine. Okay, I think I've saved us for now, but we need to go do this then, which I think Min can do. Move, move, move. It's possible, I must say. It's possible. Now oh, it's an encounter deck. Two more cards, that's fine. So, let's start again. Have her attack us for two and two. This guy's faded. First action, we're going to punch with a brute force. We're at 8 to 4, 9, 10 to 4. Minus 3, that's 7 to 4. We succeed mighty enough, so you deal 3 damage. So he took 6. And we're attacking at a 7 to 4, probably twice. That's a minus 1, that's 2 damage. And 7 to 4 again, that's enough to kill. The ghoul priest. Peter heals at the end of my turn. We do upkeep. Okay, true understanding could be really good. We're giving up these two VPs. We just can't do it. We're at 9 of 10, and Daniela is going to go and try and set some fires off here. Any sanctum location. Aloof. Two doom and a random set-aside key. Is that the last key? Is this Asian Evils? No, it not, doesn't cause advancing. Okay, so what happens now is this. Um, there's a Nestus Tet waiting to be here. So we're testing for sub 4. We're 5 to 4, 6, 7, 8 to 4, up by 3. No, up by 4. Okay, we succeed by 2. That draws us 2 cards. This is gone, but now she needs to take 2 4. So 1 here, 1 here. We're testing 4 to 3. That's a minus three. We'll lucky it to pass. This is gone. And now this shuffles. And do we have the resources for this? Interesting. Very interesting. This guy gets a doom. Can we prevent advancing? We kill this guy, one goes here. And if we go here, we kill this. We could test this. And then this guy has to die somehow. I don't think we have enough actions. Like, we go to here. Have him attack us for two horror, we die. If Min comes in and removes his doom, let's say. Let's say we remove his doom. 
there's five doom in play. One, two, three, four, five. Because if we kill this guy, we only move one doom onto the agenda. It would be eight, nine, and then we have to rush all the way over here to get this this puzzle box. Or we're just giving it up, facing the summon beast, which I didn't think we'd get to, I must say. Because we were everything was going the right way until this happened. All those call to orders, which I don't know how I drew so many of them. And I was killing the easy guys with Daniela and Pete. That was a good combo. Well, this is interesting. This is very interesting. Because if we exile it and we just discard these guys. What does happen? How, how do the keys work? Uh, when investigate... Wait. <sighs> If you control, if an enemy with the key leaves play, the investigator who caused it takes control of that key. This is when we defeat. What happens if we don't defeat it? This says all enemies engaged with you. So we need to pick this guy up, somehow not die, and then do this. And it's three actions. Unless we can somehow shortcut. This could save us a lot of turns. But I'm not sure I can soak all that horror. What does this do? Direct horror. So that would kill us anyways. Unless Min comes. Oh, this is a lot of math for me. We can't heal Daniela, and she doesn't have a lot life to spare. We need to give her the skull key if we can. This is when you end your, oh, when the round ends. If an investigator in the ceremony room. That would give us two more turns. But I'd have to end here with Daniela. And she could just take the random horror. We can only give, we cannot take, correct? Okay. Wait, we take one on us and one on Pete, move in. Well, I think this is our best chance for winning this scenario. So let's pick up the law of jailer. First action. Second action, we're moving in, killing Pete, taking one on ourselves for the AOO. Now all of these guys are engaged with me. Last action, I'm going to exile the fire extinguisher to just discard all of these enemies. Now I have to take two actions to come here. Pick this up. Last action, we'll investigate with the practice makes perfect. Hopefully to hit hitting a deduction. There it is. So we're at six to three. Let's go seven, eight to three. Nine to three. That's good enough. Oh, we do trigger this. We get two clues. This goes to our hand and Milan gives us a resource. Okay, we have the skull key, so we don't need to um, ignore that. So eight of 10 in counter card is, as I said, this could just be a random horror. Yeah, we're testing book three, and we have no way to pass this. Oh, we could... No, we don't have clues either. And it has peril. Oh, that was so close. Well, let's try at least. We're going to commit these two. We'll add an icon up. We'll be four all. Maybe we pull a zero. Nope. We either lose a clue or take a horror. We can't, so we're defeated, and we suffer a mental trauma. That was close. You get serious chanting. Fuck me. Come on. Pick this up. I'm doing my fucking dandiest. I can't. I'm not going to make it on time. Let's say I give this up. 
I can't pick up the keys. First action, I investigate. Committing an induction number six, seven, eight, nine to nine to three. Zero, I take both of these clues and I gain a resource. Now I pick these up. Let's shortcut up. Um, that triggers the hypothesis. Is there more than one shortcut? Do we use both? One shortcut, two shortcuts. We still have an Eon chart in here, which can be free movement. So let's start aggressively drawing. And of course, we're not going to get it. There's the Eon chart. Problem is that we don't have the time to play it, I think, because we need to parlay. Let's say we play it and use it to move. So next turn, we can use it to move. Move once. We need to parlay this twice. We don't have the time for everything. If we only drew this earlier. Oh, we're out of shortcuts. We're out of we're out of everything. Between the first and third. I wish I had another shortcut. I will play the Sion chart. And I'll use it to make a fast move. Investigate. Nine, five, three. Yep, we succeed. And I have to test this not neophyte and succeed, so I'm gonna commit um Why am I at four to two? Commit this true understanding and be five to two, drawing a card. It's a minus four, so I fail, so I'm gonna live and learn. So now I'm at a six to two and I'll commit Eureka to be seven to two. Great, uh, search the top three. Did I, I already committed my unrelenting, right? I'll take PMP. And these are gone. Right? Okay, enemy phase nothing. We do upkeep. Okay. We're still going to do the three shroud because we're going to enter this. Eight of ten. And nine of ten. Centuries of Secret. Let's start drawing cards like crazy here. Okay, let's see what we got. Are both perceptions here? Yes. Plan of action, plan of action, deduction. The other deduction is there. So PMP will hit nothing. So we want a Eureka. So we're at five to three. That will draw us a card. Five all. Plus one, I succeed. I'm going to search all my cards to draw this. Okay, we might, might be able to find another shortcut. So I'm going to move and investigate into here. So I'm moving into here. That triggers the hypotheses. I'm investigating, so I determined the test during that lightning bolt window. I'm going to draw a card by the hypotheses. And I'm going to practice makes perfect. Hopefully finding a deduction, a uh, perception. There it is. So I'm at an eight to three plus two, 10 to three. So minus two, I draw two cards. I did my best. I really did. I drew so many cards. Might give me another shot. I'll play a new Eon chart. I will move and investigate again. So I'm at a five to two. I don't have money for the PMP. Eight to two. 
9 to 2. Elder Sign, I get to return this perception. Draw two new cards. Come on, be a shortcut! Yep, I think I just lost. So many shortcuts left here, and I didn't draw it. And I think I'm dead here. Oh, fuck me. I was one turn away, wasn't I? I needed to parlay him twice. I cannot kill him. And I don't have the actions now because I did, instead of drawing a shortcut, I drew a stubborn detective. And had Daniela survived, maybe I had a chance, but oh boy. This is this is completely unfair, I must say. I had so many draws. I drew like ten card five cards this turn. Ah, and I get the stubborn detective. I only have two actions, that's not enough. Right, and I can't nothing's gonna give me extra actions. Wait, why didn't I commit this? I would have committed that and drawn another card. Still not a shortcut. Like, where are the shortcuts? Next card. Next fucking card. I I don't know. I mean, I thought I was perfect. And I can't kill this guy. He's not aloof. I can parlay him once. And he'll kick my ass. So I think we switch to Plan Veeps and uh, and GTFO. We're gonna evade this guy, getting a plus four, so we're at a six to two. It's a minus zero. Last action, we're gonna move into here. Okay, this gets a key. There's no key to put. And we phase this guy readies, and we do upkeep. And I think we need to discard like a quadzillion cards. Nope, just one. Let's kick the crack the case. We don't need it now. Okay, this advances, unfortunately. Place the act with uh, for the greater good. Spun the summon beast at the puzzle box location, or at any second location if the puzzle box is not in play, remove the puzzle box from the game. Place the act and agenda with the greater good. Spawn the set aside summon beast, which is this guy. And he goes instead of the puzzle box. But this thing still happens. By the way, I should mark a mental trauma on Daniela. No? Yes. Uh, plus one fight, evade, and horror for each at the start of the enemy phase. Defeats all human and enemy at his location. He defeats them. Interesting. He doesn't. Oh, he does hunt. Okay. Counter card is. Perils of the Lodge. So I'm testing this. So I'm going. Uh, five to four, six to four, seven to four, eight, nine, ten to four. Up by five. Good. So I succeed, which gives me a clue. Right, because this is this is Veeps. So we got this Veeps. I know this ain't Veeps. And I think we got all the victory on the map, right, except for this thing that doesn't have a VP. Uh, I draw two, and I search the top three. Now I get the shortcut. Don't want this. I'm gonna take the let's take the grizzle. Also, I should have picked up the essence of the dream. Oh, it's not the start of my turn yet. All this goes away. Now it's the start of my turn. So we're gonna investigate move. Right? And then we're going to resign. Um this is the Shroud 3 thing. I could move Vade though. First action we'll investigate. This is a four shroud location, so I'm at a five, six, seven, nine to four up by five. So minus zero. That's our victory. We're gonna move Vade. So we move here, this guy engages us. Well oh I was supposed to Oh, I'll commit this, I guess. He's humanoid, right? Yep. So we'll get plus three, we're at five to two, let's go six to two up by four. So minus three, that's fine. 
I'll take an action to walk up here, take another action to walk up here. Why? Because I want to resign next turn after he kills this guy. At the start of the enemy phase, he om nom 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 noms this guy to the victory display because it specifically says defeat. And then he hunts. Then this guy readies, and we do upkeep. One of infinite doom. Ancient evils. It's another doom. And Minty Fan has seen enough, right? I can't do 12 damage. Minty Fan resigns. So let's go to no resolution was reached. No resolution was reached. You managed to escape the building and run. Uh, guardian of the trap emerged. And we skip the inner circle, which I really wanted to do. And we go to union and disillusion. Guardian of the trap emerged. I really wanted to be inducted into the... Uh, into the inner circle and then deceives them, but I can't do much. Sorry. Uh, okay. Let's see our victory situation. So, um, we did come out with a mental trauma and a pretty brutal uh, conclusion to our scenario. We were this close to winning. So, this is victory. This is victory. This is victory. Um, that's it. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven VP. Um, three of them obviously are going to go to rebuy the um, fire extinguisher I got. So seven victory. It's not good. It's not bad. We came out with a mental trauma, which I guess is fine. A bit frustrating about drawing the shortcut because we probably would have done it and uh, succeeded with what we wanted. But, you know, you can't always get what you want. That's our come for you. Till then, thanks for joining, and see you next time for Union and Disillusion.